Hello, Brenton with All of Octane here, and in this video, I feel the need, the need for speed! Happy 4th of July to all my US subscribers, and hello to everybody worldwide. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I'm celebrating a cool, happy holiday, and in this video, I'm going to be opening up the Matchbox 5-pack Top Guns from the Maverick set, as well as 5 Jets that I was able to find as well. So, again, happy 4th of July to everybody, and let's get to opening these 5-packs and Jets. Alright, so let's go ahead and get to opening these uh, Jets and 5-packs. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the Jets. The packaging on these is phenomenal. It's got the Top Gun Maverick logo. It's got the uh, Maverick over here in the bottom left corner. And then it tells you which uh, jet it is. There are going to be more jets. I believe there's going to be 10 total. And so this is five. I'm going to probably have to hunt down five more. I'm sorry I wasn't able to find all of them before I made this video. But I know a lot of these five packs have already been out. Same with the jets. There's also going to be like an aircraft carrier that you can get. Uh, a lot of it looks really fun, and I know with the Skybusters, Matchbox Skybusters, they've been doing planes now for a while, so the detail on these should be pretty good. So let's go ahead and take a look at the enemy strike jet, and it does have a lot of angular lines. I'm not quite sure if this is modeled after anything. Maybe in the movie it's from something in the movie, but it's got all of the details here on the bottom in terms of where it was made. Then it has the landing gear, kind of flimsy but it does roll, the wheels do roll, so you're able to kind of land this uh, as an actual plane. But you can see again, there's the detail on it. I don't believe it's modeled after anything in particular, just kind of a nice uh, die cast. Then we'll go to the Lockheed Martin F-35. So the F-35B, I believe B indicates a bomber, um, but I'm not entirely sure. I know that there's three different versions. There's like the Marine version, the Navy version, and the Air Force version, and so, there we go, there's the Lockheed F-35. And this actually brings up a cool point because I don't know if you guys are like me, but um, sometimes I will pick up the Tailwinds. If you're a fan of Tailwinds, you'll know that the Tailwinds have, from Maisto, have created the F-35 as well. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the Matchbox Skybusters Maverick and then the Maisto F-35. So you can kind of see it's a little more realistic on the Maisto. I At least I think it's got kind of a matte finish rather than a gloss finish. And the proportions are pretty similar. You can see on the sides there and then the bottoms. So it's pretty close, but I, I do like the Maisto's better, but I can't turn down a whole Maverick set. It's so cool. This movie is awesome. Top Gun is one of my favorite movies. So it is awesome to see these die cast come out. Next we have the Dark Star. Now I'm going to guess if you have seen the trailer, I don't want to do any spoilers, but there's really not a spoiler if you've watched the trailer. So take the time right now, pause this video, go watch the trailer and then come back. This looks to be like the plane he drive or he drives. He flies at the toward the end of the trailer where he kind of blows the roof off of the uh, guard post. So I'm going to guess that this is what he flies. Now, this kind of almost looks a little space age. Sorry, it's a little, it's not focusing very well. This looks a little space age, and that might be where this is going, like autonomy versus non-autonomy, but I I don't know. I'm really excited to see, and this one does come with a stand, by the way, so small parts, beware. This doesn't have any wheels, which actually is almost somewhat similar to like the U-2 spy plane. It has wheels, but it's it's a flimsy jet in terms of trying to land and take off. All right, let's go ahead and go to the iconic F-14 Tomcat Maverick, as you can see. And this one looks pretty cool. The F-14 is surprisingly, a, I mean, it was an enormous jet and it was surprisingly not in a lot of combat. If you look that up, the F-14 did not see a lot of combat as kind of more indicated by the first movie. They made it seem like it was in a lot of dogfights and it really wasn't. Look it up, it's pretty interesting. This one looks like it has sweep back wings, but they are fixed, they do not move. Again, there's gonna probably be a couple other ones. I believe there's gonna be one with a darker canopy and then another kind of darker color in general. 
Uh, but this one looks really fantastic. And then you, we can compare it side by side to, again, a, a Maisto version. So the Maisto puts the wings uh, out a little farther, not in full, I believe, combat mode. But they do put them into the... Um, they do put them out a little bit. So there are they are side by side. And you can see somebody's already celebrating. If you can hear the fireworks, there's some fireworks going off. And then you can kind of see in the tail, the skull and crossbones, the piratey flag kind of thing. And this is a Navy jet. Again, it, that's what the F-14 was. So these are awesome. And I'm glad to add the, the F-14 to the, to the bunch. And then lastly is the Boeing F-A-18 Super Hornet Hero. So I'm guessing this is going to be Maverick's actual jet that he flies in the movie. And I believe there are two more. There's going to be a red and a yellow one. And I believe the P-51 Mustang is going to be in this set. But I am really excited to try to hunt that one down. My wife did make a note that these packages are really cool. So I'm kind of bummed that I'm opening them. But the, because she really liked the package and the art and graphics on these. And it is. It's stunning. When you see them in person, if you haven't been hunting them, they're fun. But here we go. Here's the Hero F-18. So you can kind of see on the sides here. And they did pretty well. Again, the wheels are kind of unproportionate. But it's still cool nonetheless. It's nice to have something that is licensed to the actual franchise uh, by Matchbox. And then just so you guys can see, here is an F-18 from Meso. Now, the, the F-18 on their side is much larger. This is actually a Super Hornet. And you can tell that based on the square intakes. I have one of the Blue Angels from Maisto that is one of the regular F-18s. And you can kind of see those are circular on the intakes. These are square. And then Maverick is clearly flying a Super Hornet as well because he has the squares as well. And that is the active Navy F-18. Now they do have some of the non-Super Hornets, but most of them are Super Hornets. I live very close to uh, Naval Air Station Oceana, so I'm able to see these F-18s flying around all the time. It is awesome. Near the Lynn Haven Mall, that's where their flight path is, and it is so fun to park in that parking lot and watch the jets. All right, let's get to the five packs, and I'm going to open up that one last because that one has some awesome cars in it, uh, but this one has the Hero Plane, I believe, or at least it's a Probably modeled after F-14 because I think the wings sweep on this one. But let's go ahead. And on the back, it's going to tell you what it has. It has swing wing, 1972 Ford Bronco, a Jeep 4x4, a 2019 Ford Mustang, and a 2011 Mini Countryman. And again, in the Maverick uh, packaging, the, the packaging is phenomenal. You can almost buy it just for the package. It's so cool. There we go. There is the Mini Countryman in green. Now they did really well at the space saving on this considering it's a five pack and they have three really large vehicles. So I think they squished in the Mini Countryman and the Mustang. Now I'm not entirely sure again yet which characters will be driving these. The movie is delayed so I'm really excited for it to come out. I don't know if you guys are but I am super excited. I like the five spoke rims. Uh, I don't, yeah, Matchbox does really well with Mini. It does have a panoramic clear sunroof all the way around uh, but it does have some nice racing graphics on there and they kept with the British racing green for the Aston Martin in the other pack so here's the Mustang I'm not again not entirely sure if Maverick drives this it would kind of make sense considering he uh, has a p51 Mustang but this thing is an awesome kind of silverish gray color again black five spoke rims tampos in the rear and tampos up front they did really well with this casting Next up, we have the Ford Bronco. This is iconic. Clearly, Ford must have had some sort of influence, but then again, there's also a couple Chrysler products. So it's gonna be really fun to see the video, and or the movie, and see which vehicles are in it, and who drives them, and where and how. But I really like this baby blue kind of Bronco. Uh, is super classic. Clearly something they didn't even really use in the 80s movie. He had the Kawasaki, I believe, motorcycle. Oh, and I should have brought that out. I have I have the diecast version of that too. I should have left that out. But uh, there we go. We have the Jeep. And then we have the uh, plane. So I guess the wings are... Oh, no, they do. Look at that. They, sw they sweep. 
They just sweep. That is so cool. Swing wing. Awesome. So yeah, there's that five pack. Let's go ahead and move on to the other one. So on the back of this one, it's going to tell us what we have. Another swing wing. Uh, a 2020, I'm sorry, 2010 Ford Raptor, a 1956 Aston Martin DBR1. That, I believe, is the debut of this casting. And then we have the petrol pumper and the 2008 Dodge Challenger. I don't think Matchbox ever did a Hellcat. I could be wrong. Uh, Matt and Hot Wheels never did label the Hellcat as a Hellcat. They could put Demon, but I guess licensing and interpretation in terms of what... Um, how that would go. Oh, look at that. It says one plane and four cars. That's pretty cool. Uh, depending on which cars came from where, I think it would depend on um, like which countries could have that word printed on. So it might not have been able to be printed in all countries. All right, let's go ahead and look at this Aston Martin. Look at that. British Racing Green. Tampos up front. Doesn't really have any tampos in the rear. Nice interior. This thing is awesome. Super excited to have this in the collection. And what better way to get it than from the Maverick movie set. All right. Next, we have the Dodge Challenger. And this doesn't look like a Hellcat anyway. It doesn't have the correct uh, hood for a Hellcat. But there it is. There's the Tampos in the rear. There's the Tamp... No Tamp... Oh, yeah, there is Tampos up front. Nice. That's awesome. And there they are from the sides and, and top. And we have a black Ford Raptor. Oh, the Ford Raptor is so cool. Even the first gens. First gen. If you watch Burlacker, one of Stradman's, uh, the Stradman's uh, landlord, he just bought a Raptor. And then uh, Stradman bought a Shelby Raptor, so that's pretty cool. But I like these... Uh, what is that color? Bronze rims. There we go. Those are bronze rims on this thing. Really cool. Then we have the pumper truck. Not too bad. Just another thing to add to the collection. Has jet fuel. You can fill up the jets. And then we have the last swing wing. Da -da -da. This is really cool. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like the Top Gun Maverick set? Uh, if you did, let me know if you've been finding them. Again, I, I apologize. It's a little late, but I wanted to do this on the 4th of July just simply because it's so cool. And it's a great red, white, and blue celebration. So since I had mentioned it, I wanted to pull it out. Here is the Top Gun Kawasaki Ninja, the GPZ-900R. And uh, this thing is awesome. My wife got this for me uh, a couple of years ago. And... There it is. So that's from the original movie. So it's going to be kind of cool to see which characters now have new vehicles and when they drive them, and where they drive them. But uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be a motorcycle unless Matchbox just doesn't have the casting for it. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great celebration. And until the next one, have a good one.